When most people think of zinc, they might think of having a common cold because there's a little bit of evidence that taking zinc, if you get a cold, can reduce the length of your cold. But zinc is also important for people on prednisone. Prednisone is actually depleting zinc. It's stealing zinc from your body. And so when you think about it, if you give zinc to help somebody with a cold and prednisone is stealing zinc, that makes a lot of sense because we take prednisone for inflammatory and autoimmune conditions because it works by decreasing your immune system. So maybe the way prednisone is decreasing your immune system so that in my situation, my immune system would stop attacking my platelets and causing me to nearly bleed to death. Maybe the way it's doing that to your immune system is by depleting zinc. Maybe it's gotta be a contributing factor because there is evidence that people who take prednisone and other corticosteroids have a lower zinc level, that they have more zinc in their urine than people who don't take prednisone. So what is zinc and why should I care? Zinc is a metal mineral that is important in our bodies. We cannot make it on our own. We have to eat it or supplement it. That's the only way to get it into our bodies. Prednisone depletes certain nutrients. Most pharmacists are aware that prednisone is stealing calcium, but most people are not aware that prednisone is stealing zinc. But it's important that we're aware of it because it can affect a lot of things. Now, how do I know it's stealing zinc? Well, there is a database called the Natural Medicines Database, and it ranks the amount of depletion of a nutrient by certain drugs. And prednisone made the list of drugs that deplete zinc. There are other drugs that deplete zinc that I'll cover for you because I'm a pharmacist. Deferoxamine, penicillamine, propofol, and thiazide diuretics have the most depletion of zinc. So if you've been prescribed hydrochlorothiazide, then you should definitely be taking zinc because it's depleting the amount of zinc you have. Other medications that can cause a depletion of zinc include captopril, cholesteramine, corticosteroids like prednisone, estrogens like birth control pills or hormone replacement therapy, H2 blockers like famotidine that you might buy over the counter to help with stomach upset, phenytoin, which is brand name Dilantin, and it's used for seizures. Proton pump inhibitors like pantoprazole, esomeprazole, omeprazole, which you might know the esomeprazole as Nexium, the purple pill. These help with stomach acid, maybe preventing GERD or ulcers. They are depleting zinc. Several antibiotics like tetracyclines and quinolone antibiotics like Cipro, they all deplete zinc as well. Finally, valproate and other anti-epileptic drugs can deplete zinc. I've already mentioned how prednisone is depleting zinc and that's probably because of the immune system changes, right? So what other side effects could be caused by low zinc? Check out this cartoon of me while I was taking prednisone. These are possible side effects caused by low zinc. Emotional roller coasters, immune system changes, zits, stomach upset, stool changes, bruises that don't hurt, bone loss, and impaired wound healing. So it goes to reason that if you had this much zinc before, prednisone is stealing it, so now you're here while on prednisone. So if we give that back, what side effects could be helped by replenishing the zinc that is lost? So if we replenish the zinc, that will help strengthen our immune system. Prednisone is known to weaken our immune system, making it harder for our bodies to fight off infections. Your chance of sepsis and pneumonia are way higher than if you had not taken prednisone. And zinc is known for its immune boosting properties, so it may help strengthen our defenses against illnesses. Second, zinc is known to promote wound healing. One of the side effects of prednisone 
is slower or lower wound healing. If you get in a, a cut, it's slower to heal while you're on prednisone. It can slow down this healing process, cuts, bruises, and other injuries. Zinc is essential for wound healing as it helps the body repair cells and produce new cells. By consuming enough zinc, you may potentially speed up the healing process. Prednisone can sometimes affect growth and development. One of the side effects in children is a lower height. Zinc is necessary for proper growth and development as it helps with cell division and DNA synthesis. By ensuring an adequate intake of zinc, you can potentially support healthy growth and development. So I wish I'd had something that had zinc and all the other nutrients that prednisone steals while I was taking prednisone. Zinc isn't the only nutrient. There are at least nine others. And so what I did is I invented Neutronize Zone, the first and only supplement for people on prednisone. It includes zinc and all the other nutrients that prednisone depletes, plus other ingredients designed to help counteract side effects. You can find it at Neutronize.com. N-U-T-R-A-N-I-Z-E.com. Signing off as Dr. Megan, your prednisone pharmacist. Thank you.